checking it out before the set we see the fist bump come in so we will be starting shortly on ps2 just a bit of a costing switch game one of winners finals jump steady and Valadin Hollywood Action Tuesdays, number 77 here at the iconic Chinese Theater in Hollywood, California. And a matchup befitting of this grand occasion. Early Nairs coming in from uh, from Valadin. Up and falls right into the Nairs from Jump Steady. These are gonna be two characters relying on Nairs so heavily, especially in low percent neutral. Down throw from Valadin. and reads the platform float just so, so expertly. He had that spotted a mile away and the scouting coming in, but the F smash from Jump Steady spaces around the explosive flames, but jumps right into the nair. Out of the frying pan and into the fire and into the grab as well. How can he convert? He won't, but into the nair. Already 90% and counting around the auto reticle, but even avoiding the up smash how will he, he spot dodges once more? Yeah, is able to get into this one. Vladin on this Lucina is able to do so much work. But remember, this is jump steady after all. With this great palatine, is actually able to catch the roll with that dash attack. Looking so good right now. And these bears demand so much respect from from jump steady. He needs to make sure to avoid it. And Vladin forcing him off stage. So what's the option? Just goes down against a character such as Palutena. Of course, you won't find. Jump Steady hesitating to go early in these recoveries, and that might discourage Veladin from throwing out these random counters. Mm -hmm. And also remember that uh, Mario had that really explodable recovery with that counter. Of course. But this is Palutena. This is like a uh, Palutena is able to teleport out of it, and you can't do Dolphin Slash in front of Jump Steady like that. Yeah, one place and another place in an instant able to get away with it, but these Nairs coming in. You talking about Lucina's Nair, how good it is, but Palutena's Nair is on a different level. Palutena has, as I've heard it described, a joke of an Nair. It has yeah. a hitbox the size of Australia at this point. <laughs> There's not much it doesn't cover. Yeah, man, I mean, it'll cover it'll cover this set and the next set right it after. It will cover, you know, we're playing on PS2, but it'll cover most of Town & City as well. Uh, it'll cover both Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium. It'll, it'll cover it'll probably, there's probably a couple melee stages it'll cover at this point. Yeah, no, it'll get there, but Good perfectly. Good Dolphin Slash yeah. out of shield. Valadin relied on it a bit in the previous set, and he's not going to deviate. Mm -hmm. He's, it's such, it's still such a good option, like you said earlier. But the problem was, is with Jump Steady with that first one, Jump Steady did an aerial that was easily auto cancelable, and he did it with the shield, he was able to punish it easily. But this time, Jump Steady was a little too high to auto cancel it. He's able to get away with that dash attack. He's going to get caught out easily. And these F tilts, I love Vladin's F tilts. They're so good. Yeah, Vladin not only knows when to space him, but knows how to space them as well. And especially against a character who has zoning options, those are going to be a critical key to this matchup. He's Approaches with an air that trades with one of Palutena's options, shields out the explosive flame, and, and that could have been deadly if he didn't. And hits him up with that Nair once more, is able to retreat away from it. He's trying to use the ledge? Oh, he's trying to ledge trump. Interesting. That's what Jump Stay likes to do. He loves to go for these ledge trumps, him but right back time, off stage with a fair. He's able to get away with it. Dancing Blade unable to find its mark. Hits him with the two step. You can't keep doing that. That could have been a worse punch, but the back throw forcing him off stage. Great explosive flame. Gonna get away with it. Goes for another ledge trump, but jump steady, unable to actually hit the, any of these. These falling nares have been putting in overtime for Vladin. So, so useful, but misses with a down smash. And now he's gonna eat 32% to punish. He went for a hard read with the down smash. He did that in the previous set as well. Trying to go for it, but unable to find it there. But the M smash finally catches it out. So 45% has extra credit. It's not looking too bad for jumps for Vladin. It is going to look pretty bad if he keeps getting ledge trapped like this. These dancing blades and these these down tilts will just wall him off stage. There's so, so little he can do about it if he doesn't recover early. Mm -hmm. And so much movement is going on that Nair into up air, unable to find anything out of it. Jump steady, using his own Nair in the back air as well, trying to force something out. Falls down, but did manage to catch him with the edge of the blade in the fair. And another fair will get him off stage already at 97%. These are, are the opportunities where you can start to throw out an early F smash or something to just catch him off guard in game mm -hmm. one. And these footsies coming in from there are so good. Good spot that dodge. Nair, that yeah. Nair once more jump steady in trouble. Vladin doing so good right now. Spot dodges around the grab, but doesn't complete the Nair, and that will lead to another grab after a small interaction. Good get up attack from Vladin. 
runs in and another Nair already at 148%. Yep. And this like, is F tilt range. This is back air it's range. It's also back air range. So good. Spacing it out easily. So move, moving on to game number two. Yeah, Vladin played a bit, you know, a bit under his skill level to start the game, but he fell right into his element as the game progressed. And on that last talk, he played almost perfectly. Just got these Nairs almost 100% of the time. Converting so well. Didn't get every tech read, but you, that's not something you can I generally mean, ask for in this matchup. He got the tech reads when it mattered the most. He did, and he got these conversions down to the pack of his hand. Game two on the same stage. Throws out an early auto reticle. Perhaps looking for different approaching options. Uh, Jump steady knows that some of these opportunities hasn't, hasn't had the chance to get early disadvantage too much and that's just been so detrimental early on and i would be uh, i would be careful throwing out those side fees if i was jump steady because we've seen many times where he throws them out and gets punished and that was one of almost one of those opportunities but that fourth throw forcing him off stage auto reticle catching him out oh my god he barely did you see those magnet hands that came into play yeah he had already used up his jump but thankfully lucina's grab range or stage grab ledge grab range whatever <laughs> you want to call it I mean, and using that bear once more, is able to get out of it. Oh my god, great drift back to avoid it. And Another here comes the dancing blade. blade. <laughs> I mean, we both can say it at the same time because it's exactly, you know exactly what's happening right now. And that Nair in order to cross the shield just rainbows right over him. Good spot dodge, but holds shield and drops it a bit too early. Mm -hmm. He's now Jump Steady wants to go for some of these back airs. Yeah, he's trying to go for these parries right now, but it's unable to find it. It's Mark Dash Attack. Oh, that could have been a huge punish. Just goes with the shield, and once more, now Lucina has Palutena in her grasp. Jump steady, how will he recover? He's looking for something right now. He just needs to find a really spaced back air. He's going to force him off stage and try to go for a back air right now. Yeah, how many grabs has Vlad managed to get so early? He just reads the movement so well, even if he doesn't land some of the punish options. Mm -hmm. Unable to find that ledge cancel with that teleport. But look at these, he's doing retreating tilts just like that, or a retreating back air, forcing him into a bad option. And look Another at that, he pokes fair. up the shield. Because one of the best options you can do in this game that a lot of players like to do, especially like a Palutena, you'll jump at a shield with a Nair, right? Absolutely. So right now what Vladin's doing is he's baiting out that option and using his aerial. He did a down tilt, F tilt, and into retreating there. But speaking of that, takes the stock just like that. So Vladin looking so good right now, and jumps that he keeps going for these heart rates on these down smashes, but they're not paying out. Yeah, spot dodges around that one. Doesn't want to get caught in that up air through the platform. Not going to quite do it yet, but now another one will. Gets around him with an air, and good job from Vladin. Just saw the explosive flame coming. He's been spacing around these excellently. He's able to get away with it right now. Look at that bear coming in. A great parry, but not able to find a punish. Back that throw. back throw. Yeah, taking it out. Look at this dash dance coming in right now. Here comes the throw. Back throw, not enough just yet. Even the pummels weren't enough. And great air dodge. It forces jump steady in a really bad position. But unable to get it. And the dash attack barely catches it out. Yeah, finally, almost two minutes in. And jump steady finally 71% down. Takes the stock. Although these nares will help make up the deficit a little bit. Look at how many of these. That's five in a row mm -hmm. from jump steady. Showing no signs of and stopping. The now the up air. And the back air, oh my goodness, Jump Steady coming back hard right now. Look at this from him. Yeah, if I'm Jump Steady, I'm thinking of just spacing back a little bit, trying to bait up these get-up attacks that Vladin has been throwing out so, so often. Perhaps going with an auto reticle or, or an explosive flame from distance instead. Uh-huh, and great Tomahawk that came in, catching out the no-tech with that up air. And using that bear once more, the explosive flames are doing somewhere. He went for the hard read, but it gets punished for it. Yeah, one missed up smash will lead to another landed F smash. Vladin so, so good at these hard read punishes. And when you're not hitting these reads, there's little you can do from Jump Steady's perspective. Already at 54%. He's doing so well right now. Has Look. had stage control in eons. I mean, that's just that's just how scary Lucina can deal with it, especially if you're stuck on the edge like this. Look at that. Good tech in place. Mm -hmm. Jump Steady's been stuck in this corner for how long? And he's able to space it out with that instantly charged F smash. It doesn't get the tipper, but... I mean, there's no tipper to well, go off. Well, uh, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but he was unable to get it in the other direction he would have wanted. Does not get, you know, perhaps the knockback he was looking for. Mm -hmm. Unable to find anything. Explosive flame. Dodged out once more. The roll's coming in right now. 
Oh my god, the percents look so even, but Vladin has a whole stock to work off of. Yeah, and that's all thanks to some of this impeccable neutral play around the two minute mark. Just even these these reads on these nares. If you're gonna miss, you're gonna pay. Uh-huh, and he's gonna get these hard reads right now, but the back air finally catches it out. Jumps that he dropped his shield a little too early. That might have Vladin. actually shield poked, in fact. He was just holding it so, so liberally on the platform. and. You can't just do that for too long. Mm -hmm. That's a possibility, and that's going to be the whole punish right there. Yeah, good conditioning. And Valatin looking clean at the moment. Showing why, you know, showing last week was no fluke. Already two games up in winner's finals. And we see the ZSS from Jump Steady did not like what he saw yep. at all. I can't blame him. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got, a, he's got a really good ZSS coming his way, and ZSS... Um, she's been a lot of talk, right? A lot of people have been saying, wow, she's really good. And a lot of people are saying, it's just Mars carrying her. But we'll have to see right now what Jumpsteady can do. Well, of course, it's not, you know, as, ma as much as so many people want to say it's Mars, there's a lot of ZSSs putting in work on all different types of levels. Choco doing work in Japan. So many people working to advance this character. And the place in the meta, absolutely not defined, but it's still looking good for ZSS players. Because mm, it's like, uh, ZSS and Fox are kind of in the same... Uh, they're in limbo, yeah. almost. They're they're a phantom top tier, as you would call them. Yeah, like, people are still talking about Fox, and some people are arguing it. Like, and then you all have these people saying, oh, wow, the Fox meta is being carried by Light. Oh, the ZSS meta is being carried by Mars. And although they are so, like, a top caliber of that, we've seen Foxes and ZSS from other players doing so well. Like, Luis did so well as Fox earlier. He got top eight at SmashCon, did so well was able to take sets off of, of notable players. But right now, you can't keep doing those Dolphin Slashes in front of Jump Steady. Yeah, eats the F Smash as a punish. Good. Uh, no, he just does not get the Down Smash. So, so well spaced from Valadin. And now he has him in his grab as well. The forward throw almost killed. Mm -hmm. Oh, but great counter. Unable to find it just yet. Jump Steady looking for an option. And that Nair going to carry him off to the other side. One side of the stage to another. Good shield from Jump Steady and in the nick of time. He's able to get away with it Look just at some of these barely. zares and side pieces as well, just throwing out the whip at a moment's notice. But the up throw, he has to be at such a high percent with that to even think of killing. But oh, but the up B. Stun up B, no. Great DI coming in from Vladin. Unable to get the kill just yet. And here come that bear so well. Down smash being used once more. They're so close yet so far, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and Vladin, even though he's missing some of these F airs and these these F tilts as well. The, meanwhile, good side B from Jump Steady finally closing out the first stock. Yeah, hits him up with that whip. Does so much. And look at that. I love his use of Zare. Like, when you think of Zare, the first thing that you really think of is Luigi, right? Certainly. But, yeah, but all these characters are actually able to use it accordingly. And great conversion off that one, using that dash tech to extend the combo and using the down tilt. I love how he's for, uh, he's uh, tilting his shield up in order to get more out of it. And in response, Vladin goes with these down tilts as well. Here comes that fair, and that frame two jab is so good. Is it frame one or frame two? It's, it's I believe it might be frame one. It's, I, it's a really good jab. It's, That's what I it's frame negative one at this point. It just comes out immediately. And as you said, the Zare, you typically associate it with characters such as Lucas and Luigi, but with ZSS, it's a typically useful neutral tool as well against a character with as much range as Lucina has. And two spot dodges in a row, not going to cut it out, and catches up the jump using that Nair. Yeah, excellent jump read. Baladin has these on lock and one stock away from getting into grand finals. It just seems that Jump Steady seems a little shook right now. And here comes the conversion. If he can get a stock after this, this would be so good. And trying to use that down smash to read it out. But Valadin's having none of that right now. His Lucina's looking so good. Yeah, even at 70%, enough ledge invincibility to wait out the down smash. And he will reap the rewards. Uh huh. Good here, back air. Yeah, that back air is so good. He's able to finally get back on, but Valadin baits it out easily. Only gets hit one of the Dancing Blade, though. And that could have been so much more. Jump Steady has him off stage <gasps> into the stun as well. The up special, no, oh, not quite. It's not going to be enough just yet. This is looking really bad because Valadin is able to run away with these stocks so well. And he baits it out, but no punish on that one either. Valadin, he just had it. He had the victory locked up if he wanted to. If he was to react a bit earlier, this game could have been his, but no. Oh, Another fair off stage. He's without a jump. Air dodges back safely. Uh, 
Kalani is able to get back into this one and thank Mahoney for the shield. He actually, you can actually crawl under that shield breaker, but remember with Smash Ultimate, you can tilt it downwards, but unable to find it. Counter, not gonna lend his spark, but great job using the down switch to finally catch it out. Yeah, he's been looking for that so often and finally gets him, just crawls forward, but into the grab as well. The forward throw puts him at 119 and he'll have to make a, he'll have to make an incredible comeback if he wants to even force a game four. Great use of the down special in order to get away from it though. So what's the option using that fastball Nair? This is winner's finals after all. Winning this will get a, a, a big ticket to Gets grand the finals. Back in the Nair. <gasps> is the that going to be is it enough? It is enough. Usually Dancing Blade doesn't kill, but thankfully it does that. And with a clean 3-0 from Vlad. Yeah, that's solid, solid matchup knowledge. Just knowing when to space these fares, these opportunities, getting these punishes at such a high rate. And Vladin for the second consecutive week, is in winner's side of Grand Finals. Mm -hmm. He's looking so good right now, so clean.